What's going on guys? Welcome back. So, I am here for a tutorial video, and I have not done, any, done one of these in a hot minute. So, let's show you guys what I'm up for. So, this tutorial video is on tires. How to scuff up your tires. So, I know why you guys want to say, I'm just... I know what you guys want to say. Paper, same paper. I know. I did that the longest time. But I found an easy, quick way. A lot faster and a lot easier. So, same paper, yes, I know that's number one thing you're gonna say. I've done it for the longest time, but until I found this little trick. So, what I mean by this trick is, you're gonna need a tool for this, you're gonna need this. You're gonna need a Dremel, any kind of Dremel. You know, it can be a cord Dremel or cordless, is what I have. A rodeo tool, however you call it. A little tip at the end, and Yes. Mine has three different speeds. So there's two hookup points this comes with that work amazing. I will provide my Dremel tool down link down below. I got this off of Amazon. And this one came with a little pack of stuff. So you got, you, got, uh, you know, um, sand blocks, what the heck you call that, sanding ovals. <laughs> uh, you got Dremels, you got, you know, all kinds of stuff here. You got, you know, you can drill stuff. This comes really handy for model building. Especially if you're doing a lot of scratch building and stuff. This comes in a lot handy, especially if you're going to do some really rough sanding. This is the way to go. Get done easy. So, two attachment points from that little kit you're going to need to use to scuff up your tires. First off, you need this little guy. It's, it's made for grinding metal, I guess. But it really works good on styrene and on the actual tires. So that's gonna scuff up your tires. That's the main thing you're gonna need. And for the pro street tires, make them look really used up, make them look, you know, like they're really burnt off some rubber. You guys gonna take one of those sanding ovals, or how you call that. And these things are really rough. They are rougher than rough. These are good for, you know, if you're taking a bumper off a model and you put on the aftermarket bumper or something, this is, you know, you have to cut it off and you have to do some really rough sanding. This is the way to go. But this actually works very well on scuffing up your pro street tires or any tire you want to really make it look really, really used up. So, I did a couple of examples. So, here is before. And here's after. Very cool. This is the normal street tire, so you're not gonna be scuffing up like access to pull the street. You're just gonna scuff it up, make it look little used, little used, you know, it's been on the road for a few few hundred thousand miles, you know. Do it on any tire, I did it on these skinny white walls, I did it on these good years, any type of tire you can think of that it comes out there. So I'm actually gonna show you how to do one of these tires. And then afterwards, I'm going to show you how to do the pull street. So here's the before, and here's the after. So stick around, you're not going to want to miss this. So, all right, so let's begin. So, get your voodoo tool, you're gonna get this attachment right here. You're gonna put that in. So we're first off, we're gonna do the uh, street tire. The um, red, red lines. So, mine comes with three speeds. Low, medium, and high. Now for mine, I'm gonna do medium, because you know, that's just the way to go. And you know, low is a little bit too low, and high is a little bit too high, because you need you're probably gonna burn through the, uh, the tire itself. So I'm gonna stick around medium. I'm gonna put some music for you guys. So you don't have to listen to this thing. And yeah.
So wait, right, there you go. That is normal time. I did not split up the footage. That is actual real life time. And I did that in like less than a minute. Very easy, very simple, and very quick. You definitely save a lot of time by doing this. So now I got all four of these tires all stuffed up. I did it R3 off camera, just so I'm not annoying you with off of sanding, but they actually look like they've been on the road for a few thousand miles. Very cool. Now you can do a lot more, you can do a lot more, you can stay on there much as much as you want. You can take off the tread if you want, make it look really, really used. But for me, I just did light use and that's good enough. So wait, so let's go to the poetry tires. So like, you can do the same thing like to these. You don't want to make, you know, make, make, make these tires look like they've been used. You can obviously do that. Or if you want to make it look really used, like this one I did here. Like after been just done doing a pull street, you know, drag strip, then this is the radio. So first off, I'm gonna use this guy right here. Do the same thing, same method what I did to the to these tires over here. And then afterwards, I'm gonna switch to this. And this is where the big boy, this is where the uh, really rough, rough of the stuff comes from. So I'll put some more music. So you're gonna get annoyed by this and medium speed. There we go. So wait, there you go. So if you want to, you can leave it as this, just like it's been on the post street, you know, once and not completely used up. That is fine. But that's that's you know looks pretty good. So but I'm gonna rough it up a little bit more, make it look like it's actually been used. So we're gonna take that right out. We're gonna put in this little guy. And this is where the <laughs> this is where the buffness comes from. So yeah, so this will actually dig into a tire. Like you keep it one spot, this will actually dig in because this is really rough. It will like actually shove it in and it will put a big hole in there. So you gotta move quick with this because this is rough. This is really, you know, this is where the danger part comes in from. So I'm gonna put on some more music and you guys just, like, like I said, this is all normal time, no spot up footage. This is real life footage right here. So. Take a mind. So, for me, medium speed. Don't want to go high on this, especially on this part, because this will dig into the tire itself if you're not careful enough. So, anyway, let's go skip for it. No, oh, wait, there you go. That's where 
the really used up tire comes from. You know, the tire, the tread is really, the rubber is really coming off and you really use the heck out of this. So there you go guys, that's my tutorial on how to scuff up tires and it's very messy, but you can actually heat those scraps to like glue onto your actual car. <laughs> so you can, especially the Polish street, because you can actually use that to make it look like, you know, rubber is on the actual car itself. So that's pretty neat. But yeah, other than that guys, that's my tutorial on how to scuff up tires, Polish street and regular street tires. Like I said, it's very simple. It takes you like literally for four tires it takes you probably two minutes the most not even a lot faster a lot easier than you know rubbing your tire on sandpaper and stuff and more convenient and you know a little bit more faster so just wanted to put this up for you guys i'll put like i said i'll put this down um down below to where i, I got this this is an awesome Dremel is very small, you know, very handy. Just fits in a normal, normal drawer. Like I said, it has a huge pack, so this is very good, very helpful for modeling. Like I said, especially for sanding and stuff, or you just got to drill a hole for something. Very simple, very easy. But right, night guys, that's it for now. Hope you guys enjoyed this, and if this helped you, uh, leave a like, and yeah. Until next time, I'll catch you guys later. Bye for now.